all right what is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel my name is brax thank you for joining me today i wanted to talk about crafting a complete guide on how to do it in super people if you're coming from games like PUBG, warzone apex and you don't really have a crafting system this i hope will be a good overview on just how to do it and how to get started so what we're going to do is we're going to pick up two common weapons white weapons a common helmet <coughs> excuse me, a common vest and a common backpack, and hopefully take them all the way to Heroic, just so I can kind of show you guys uh, what we're doing here. So the first thing with crafting is supplies. This is silicon right here. You're just gonna wanna collect as much of this as possible. Any supplies you see, even if it's not glowing, you wanna pick it up. Okay, we got our three white gear things. Let's see if we can find some white guns real quick. Ooh, a vector, maybe we'll stick with a vector. Not gonna use a shotgun though, no thank you. Not until they buff them anyway. And a white X40. Just picked up a watch there. Just some basic supplies. Now you don't want to craft anything yet until you kind of decide on which guns you want. So that was just some cloth. This is some coil. Just random stuff like this. Leather. Leather's super useful. Highly recommend it. Always pick up your gold too. You need it. What do we got here? So this is a green X40, but I'm not going to pick that up. I'm going to stick with my white X40 just so we can kind of get a sense of what's going on here. Okay, there we go. All right, let's stick with this with this gear right here. So first thing you're going to do, open up your inventory. Now you go into your inventory, you have this middle column right here. Obviously you have the ground loot right here. You can ignore that. But this middle column right here is the stuff that you're carrying. Now, this third column is also stuff you're carrying, but it's in more of like a different backpack. It's not taking up any weight in your backpack, as you can see right here. This is all your crafting materials right here. And then right above it, as you probably saw if you played the tutorial, is what you can craft. So first thing we're going to do, bonus. once we have our guns, we have our gear, you can go through this RPG material quiet. list. Thank you for the RPG game. Appreciate you interrupting me. And you can get rid of anything that has this red... Um, circle with the line through it. You can get rid of that because you're not going to need it. If you have your guns, then you don't need it. You're not going to be able to craft with it, so there's no point in picking it up. Okay, so first thing we're going to go over is some tips and tricks. So the first thing I want you guys to recognize once you're in this window is this little window right here. We got Survival iron ore guns. right there, and you'll learn the terms. There's a lot of crafting stuff, and so don't worry about it if you don't know it initially. We'll learn it later. But these two things are iron ore. That's what you need to craft the next level. So we have white, the next level is green, and to get there, you need whatever's right here. Same thing for your gear right here, your, uh, your helmet, vest, and backpack. You need cloth for the bulletproof vest and the backpack, and then you need leather for the helmet. So. As you can see, we actually have some leather and we have some cloth, so we can craft some stuff right here. First thing I recommend doing, get that bulletproof vest level two. It's fantastic. And then the second thing we'll do is grab that bulletproof helmet. Boom, easy peasy. Now, iron ore, you're going to come to find is one of the most important things in the game. You're going to want to try to find that stuff. So what we're going to do is just click on that little magnifying glass right there. Boop, and you can see it starts waving around. Now it's searching for iron ore. All right. Interestingly enough, there's no iron ore around, and I only know that because, well, one, it's not showing up on my map anywhere. It's, no iron ore is getting tagged. And that's a problem. We need some iron ore, but we're going to have to wait, I guess. So instead, what we're going to do is turn it back off. So let's find another stuff for us. You can turn it off. Heard that little sound right there. What are you, uh, that was a terrible example. But that little sound tells you that marked on your mini map, that marked on your mini map is some stuff you need. So. Stuff you need is going to be glowing, just like this. So we need this gold bar. We'll take that. And then you can also see on your map, it marked two things at a time. It marked some silicone, and it marked some leather. So we're going to find that. Leather is right over here. Thank you very much. You can see now we can craft some knee pads right there. You can also see it in the bottom left corner there. We have some paint. Ooh, capsule. Yes, please. And then let's jump right over into here. acquired. Grab the silicone. Silicone oh, is always nice to have. Oh, we got some scrap metal too. Okay, so we got knee pads. So you can see over here, Bulletproof Fest level two needs the knee pads. Now, if you don't know how to craft knee pads, because you're just starting out, how do I craft knee pads? What does it take? You're going to click this button right here, the little tier tree. You have it, you have it, sorry, for everything you have. So my weapons have it, my helmet has it, my vest has it, and my backpack has it. And if you click it, it's going to open the tier tree to get you all the way to level five for heroic for the guns and to see what you need. So 
we can see right here knee pads we need silicone which we have and leather which we have perfect and that'll get us to a level three bulletproof vest now to get to level four we're going to need glass shards which is a glass bottle and some nails and then to get to level five we'll need armor plate which is gold bar which we have and rubber which is silicone which we have in a blowtorch so really to get to level five all we need that we don't have are nails and a blowtorch that's actually really awesome so we're going to go ahead and grab these knee pads and a bulletproof vest to get us started looks like i was talking too much i'm gonna turn from the zone a little bit all right survival bonus. now you can see i can craft steel i haven't been looking for steel so i wasn't planning on it some glass right here i'm gonna go grab um so i don't really know oh, vehicle. i don't really know what this steel is useful for so what i'm gonna do is hover over it. You can see that the AK is now highlighted. You see that? How the AK gets a white border around it? So that's what you need the steel for. So we're gonna go ahead and craft that steel. If you don't see a white border around either of your guns, where's this vehicle at? Oh, there it is. Oh, come on. If you don't see that white border around, then you're not gonna to wanna to craft it because there's chances that you're not gonna be able to use it. If you can't use it, that's going to be kind of frustrating to use up uh, crafting materials that you could previously use and make something that you can't use. Uh, that's, that's kind of frustrating. So you always want to be careful. You're not crafting stuff you don't actually need. All right, let's take care of this guy real quick. Yeah, we'll just do this. Oh, he's dead. Interesting. All right, we're just going to run away from that then. I don't have very good guns right now. You can see I still have the white guns, so I just don't want to do it. So I'm going to click on that iron ore and just heard the sound cue. And now it'll show up on your map. So I'm going to run right toward that iron ore because I really need to upgrade these guns. White guns are no bueno. They're not in this game because chances are when you landed, somebody picked up like a rare, uh, a heroic, a mythical, you never know. And so if you can avoid white guns, avoid white guns. So you can see now we can craft our uncommon guns. So we can only craft one. I'm going to go with the AK, even though... Maybe I should go with the X-40 so I can actually hit those people in the head. All right, double barrels. Here's a great example. I can craft double barrels with gold bars and with steel, but nothing's lighting up. So if I craft those double barrels, I'm going to use two Survival things bonus. that I can use and make something that I can't use, and I definitely do not want to do that. So you just ignore it. And it's kind of frustrating to have it there and ignore it, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. And we learned to live with it. Here comes the zone. Grab that lithium. All right, backpack. I'm definitely getting that backpack. There's a heroic repair kit behind me. Too bad. All right, guys. Now, there's not too much more that I want to talk about with crafting. You kind of have the basics. Um, use this uh, video as a review guide, you know? If you ever confused about something, just come back to it. But one more thing I did want to talk about is the personal supply. If you open this up, it'll almost always, or maybe it is always, actually, come with things that you need. So in that case, it was a coil and a steel plate, plus your gun, which is always nice. And then, ironically, I don't actually need those things anymore, which is kind of funny. So you want to sometimes, not sometimes, but if you have the money, I guess I should say, check your personal supply, because it could be uh, very useful to have some crafting things that you need in there if you don't necessarily want the gun. Let's see if we can get this guy, huh? Oh, what is... Alrighty guys, that is going to do it for the crafting video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any more questions, leave them down in the comments below. As well as what else you guys want to see, what other guides you guys want me to make. I'm happy to make them for you. This is honestly really fun. So just let me know in the comments what you want to see. If you have any questions, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.